Guys, it's Arrow here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully set up a case site. This is without the bot. I'm either going to make another video on the bot, or I'm just going to have you guys contact me on Steam. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, we're just doing some finishing touches on the bot to make sure it's all bug proof. And yeah. So I'll leave the guy who made the script, this actual script in the description below. And you guys can check him out and subscribe to him on YouTube. But this is going to be how to set it up. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the first link in the description. And that'll be for DigitalOcean here, for the droplet. And once you get all your account all made and signed up, you're going to hit create and droplet. This might take a minute to load. And you're going to make sure you're on Ubuntu 16.04.3 x64 right here. And I'm going to use $5 for this tutorial, but you can use $10. That might make your site a little bit better. And just pick whatever's close to you. It doesn't really matter. You can, I can pick Singapore if I really wanted to, but I'm just going to do New York 3. And that's all that really matters. I'm going to do case site. And I'm ready to go. That's all you need to change. You don't need to mess with any of this SSH or anything like that. You're just going to hit create. And now it's going to load up here and it should send you an email with the login information for this droplet. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to make this half the screen here. So we can still see it. And we're going to open up Putty. It's going to open up on my other monitor here, but we'll drag it over. And also FileZilla. And again, we'll do the same thing. Just make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so you, as you see, this was loaded in. So I'm going to go to my email here. And Putty. And you're going to take the IP and just copy that like this. To copy it, you just click copy right here next to it. And hit open. And we'll do no. For login as we're going to do root. If the password, you're going to go to your email and you're going to copy the password for the droplet. And you're going to click, you have to right or a left click into the window for putty so you can move it around and all that. Then you're going to right click one time. Oops, sorry. I guess I copied it wrong one second here. And you're going to paste it in. Okay, there we go. So, so if you don't do it perfect, it will say like access denied and all that. So you just use it to right or left click once and then right click and then I'll paste it in and then you hit enter. So I'm going to right click again, hit enter. Enter new password. So just make this password whatever you want. Make sure you remember it because you will need it every time you log in. And now you're fully into the website. You have your, your VPS all set up for this uh, case site. So now what you actually want to do is you're going to minimize putty. And we're going to drag the files over here. Where did I put the site files at? Okay, so here's the files for the site. And actually I need to... And to sign in to FileZilla first, I'm going to put the IP there, and you're going to use root as the username. You're going to type in your password for the password that you made, and then 22 as the port, and hit Quick Connect. And once that's done, you're going to open up the files for the case site, and hit OK there. Now, before you do anything, you're going to take the CSGO shell file right here, so csgo.sh, you're going to drag that right there, and now we're going to go back to putty, and we're going to type, sorry I have all my notes here, you're going to type this into putty, I'll have a link for all the commands down in the description where you guys can just paste them in. So then after you do that, you will do this. Now once this is done, it should ask you to create a password. It might take a minute. I'm not going to speed any of this up or skip it so you guys can see how long it's actually going to take to make this site. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know down in the comments or on Steam. 
Um, if you, like I said, this is not going to include the bot files, so if you do want the bot files, contact me on Steam. And I can get those for you. And if there's a big enough demand for it, I'll make a video on the whole uh, bot files. And uh, you guys can use it and get your case site up and running. Now what you actually going to do is create your passwords. I'm just going to use the same one I used before. Then you're going to hit down arrow, enter. Type the password again. Down arrow, then enter. Okay, so when you come up to this, what you're actually going to do is you're going to do space to make sure there's a little star by the Apache 2, tab to go down to OK, and then hit enter. You have to do it exactly in that order, this will not work. Again, all the files and everything you're gonna need, like Putty, FileZilla, uh, DigitalOcean, everything's gonna be. All the links for that's gonna be down in the description below. So yeah, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but it should be under 15 minutes. So for this, you're actually gonna hit uh, there to the side and hit no. And now you're gonna type Y and hit enter. Now you're just going to move that over right there. And we'll go to, we'll put these three dots right, or there's two dots right here. And we'll go to var, and then www, html. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually hit, click on this, hit delete. Delete that file. And I'll do yes here again. And the uh, putty. And now we should be done with that for a little bit. So, now what we want to do is go to our files here and go to script, case open, and we're going to take all of these files and drop them right there. Now we'll start uploading all the files. So it's 5,600 files to transfer. So this will take a little bit, so I'll probably skip ahead during this, but I may not, just so you can see how long it'll actually take. So actually, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip it. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's about to finish here in a minute. So one thing I didn't tell you guys, or I forgot to tell you guys, was in putty stuff will keep running down and it'll ask you at one point to select different directories it's all you have to do is all when those come up just keep hitting enter and um, it'll bring you to this where it just it won't say the uh, Apache 2 restart it'll just be blank and that's just what you want so I had two files waiting here looks like they all transferred Process here. Alright, never mind. Um, so. Sorry, I was doing something, so I kind of got. Uh, this one failed. I'm trying to figure out why these two failed. Give me a minute here, guys. Okay, right, guys, so you just have to. When you get these files, which you just have to push, reset and re -queue selected files in both of them. And it'll re -queue them and upload them. So next, what you're going to want to do is we're just going to make this a little bit bigger here. 
and we're going to want to go to trying to remember the file name here. Storage. And we're going to right click and hit. I believe we're going to do. Uh, sorry, file permissions. And we're going to set this to 777 and hit OK. We're going to hit the two dots here at the top. We're going to right click this, file permissions 777, and then check this box and hit OK. And that will take a minute to do its thing up here. Okay, guys, once that's done changing all of the permissions, those to 777. What you're going to do is right click in your, if you, here, I'll show you guys. This is etc backslash Apache 2. So that's where we went right when this was done, uh, working on its thing. So what you're actually going to do is you're going to, oops, you're going to go to this file and you're going to hit create new directory. And we're going to do, call this one backup. Then you're going to hit control and select all of these files while you're holding control. And you're going to drag them all into backup. Now once that's done, you're going to take all the files from this Apache 2 folder for the case site. And you're going to drag all of those in. I'm not sure how long this will take. Just a few more seconds. from before so we're not going to worry about that one so now after you do that we're going to go back to putty and we're actually going to do the server uh, service patch it to uh, sorry it's not letting me paste in here Let's see type So for some reason my putty froze, so I'm going to restart that real quick. One second. So we'll take the IP here. Open. No. Root. So if your, your putty freezes up, that's what you do. Then you just do, oops, that's the IP. Sorry about that, that was the IP, not the... So then you'll paste in your service, Apache 2 restart. And it should finish, there we go. So now we're actually going to open up the site. And we're going to do... We're going to copy your IP, we can see that right here, and open up a new tab. We're going to do this, backslash php by admin. This will bring you to your php by admin. And for your username, you're going to do root, then password, you're going to type in your password, and hit go, or enter like I did. Now I'm just going to save it because this is kind of just throw away one new way for me. And we're going to hit new right here, and we're going to call it CSGO, just like that, no capitals, nothing, and hit create. So, the first thing we're actually going to do is go to import right here and here choose file and we're actually going to go to case site and here's the SQL file right here CSGO and it has a one after it you're going to do that it's run to the bottom hit go now, that'll actually import everything into the site and now the first thing next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to users and you can clear all this out if you really want I'm just gonna leave it for right now but what you'll actually do is you'll find your name on here and my name is on isn't even on here so I haven't signed in but what I'm gonna do is I'll just pick a random person so I can do this person and for is admin to make yourself the admin you find your your uh, name on that list you go to is admin you type in one and you go all the way to the bottom and hit go. Now I'll make you the admin on your account. And here are all the all the information for your site. 
Um, second, I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna go look back on my notes. See what's next here. Uh, actually, that's that's it. So now you can actually go to your site, and everything will work fine. And you do the URL backslash admin. So like, for example, you could do like this admin, and that would take you right to the admin panel, and you can like create and edit cases and view all your users and all that, add your bots, whatnot. But uh, if you guys want the bots, the bot files, contact me on Steam. If I get enough demand, I'll make a, a whole separate video on it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments or add me on Steam. So yeah, thank you guys for watching.